She says in the subcontinent, Asr Adhan is given very late. And due to this, people pray Zuhur till the Adhan of Asr, which according to the Umm Al-Qura timetable is not the valid time for Zuhur. Is their Zuhur prayer valid? First of all, the timings of Zuhur was given to us by Jibreel, peace be upon him, when he came to the Prophet والسلام, over the duration of two days. And in the first day, he led our Prophet والسلام, in prayer at a particular specific time. And then on the second day, he led him on a different time. And he told him that each prayer's time is between the two times of these two days. So each and every Muslim must, it's an obligation upon each and every individual to know when the time begins and when the time ends. And as Muslims, we do not rely on watches. We do not rely on clocks or calendars or people. It is so easy that if a layman would come out of his home and follow the sun and its position, he would know the timings of Salat. But it is also convenient for a person to call the Adhan, whom we call the Mu'adhin, whom we depend on his Adhan to know the timings of Salat. And this happens in the Muslim world all over. Likewise, when it comes to the months of the year, ask any person on earth without having a calendar which day of the month we're in and which month this is, he cannot know. A similar person, a similar Muslim, if he were to be in his shoes and were asked which month this is, if he doesn't know the month that was before and he doesn't know the times, he could simply look at the position of the moon and estimate whether we are in the beginning, in the middle, or at the end. Furthermore, he can tell you once the new month begins. So he is capable of counting the months according to following when it begins and when it ends. But those who follow the Gregorian calendar can never know whether it's February or December. It's impossible for them to know whether we are in the beginning, middle, or the end of the months. So Islam is a religion of simplicity. And hence, if I want to know the timings of the prayers through going to the hadith, I can easily find out, and this is the vast majority of Muslims and schools of thought agree upon, that Fajr begins when the horizontal dawn appears. So the whole horizon is black, pitch black. All of a sudden we see this white line coming that's horizontal and this is the break of dawn. We can pray Fajr and we must refrain from eating and drinking if we're fasting. This time of Fajr ends once the tip of the sun appears. That's it. You, you cannot pray Fajr anymore because the time is over. And if you delayed it deliberately, it's gone. Then we come to Zuhur time. Zuhur time, if you put something and it's erect on the ground, the sun rises from here and the shade of this object is decreasing. 
as the sun rises, the shade decreases until it's on top of it and there is no shade. This is the time that prayer is pro prohibited. Voluntary prayer becomes prohibited in these five minutes. Once the sun goes a little bit to the west and there is a small shade to the east, this is called a zawal, which inaugurates the time of Zuhr. Now the time of Zuhr has started. As the sun heads to the west and the shade is becoming longer and longer, once the shade reaches the same length of this erected object, the time of Zuhr ends and the time of Asr begins. When? When the time, the shade is equivalent to the erected object. And this is the vast majority of scholars and schools of thought. Only the Hanafi school of thought say that if the length is twice as long, not as long, but twice as long of the erected object, then this is the time of Asr, which means that there is about 40 minutes gap between the time of Asr of the majority of schools of thought which follow the authentic hadith of the Prophet and the time of the Hanafi school. And hence, those who pray according to the Hanafi school and they delay their dhuhr after the shade of an erected object is equal to it, their dhuhr is invalid. And this is according to the hadith of the Prophet No, if they are laymen, if they are ignorant, if they are people who do not know anything except what their scholars tell them, then the sin falls on their scholars because they're ignorant. But nowadays in the era of internet and uh, um, satellite channels, Islamic satellite channels that are coming to every home, you have no excuse because you are told the hadith and you can check the authenticity of the hadith and you can ask the schools of thought other than the Hanafi schools of thought and they will tell you that this is wrong what they're doing. So what are you waiting for? Maghrib and Isha, we all know that Maghrib begins when the sun totally disappears and it remains the timing until the time of Isha. And the time of Maghrib, the end of Maghrib and the beginning of Isha are very close. How do we know? By the disappearance of the redness in the direction of the west. So after the sun had set, there remains in the horizon, in the twilight, there remains redness due to the setting of the sun. And this remains for about 45, 50 minutes, maybe an hour. And then it disappears. Once it disappears, you cannot pray Maghrib. Maghrib time is over. And it's now time for Isha. And this is why it is very dangerous when people rely on Umm al-Qura timetable. Now, Umm al-Qura timetable for Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, and Maghrib is pretty accurate. Only when it comes to Isha, it is totally wrong. You cannot and you must not follow Umm al-Qura's Isha timing. Why? Because they fix it at one hour and a half for 11 months of the year. And on Ramadan, which is the 12th month, they make it two hours difference between sunset and Isha. And this is totally wrong. If you go in Saudi Arabia, and if you're traveling, like, let's say from Medina back to Jeddah, as you reach the outskirts of Jeddah, if it's time for Maghrib, uh, if it's time for uh, Isha, you can notice that as you're headed west, the redness had disappeared about an hour and five minutes, give or take five minutes. So it's not one hour and, 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 and 30 minutes after sunset, which means that women who delay their Maghrib 
depending on the fact that Isha Adhan is an hour and a half after sunset, they have missed their Maghrib prayer. So I hope this answers your question.